Activate light. Got it. Activating the light. If you'd like to turn on LED strips with a Google Assistant, you've come to the right place. A little while ago, maybe about a year or so, I created a guide for uh, connecting WLED strips and turning them on with Google light Assistant. And since then, because Google, the process has changed slightly. So we're just going to go through the process again, which is as of the end of 2022. Uh, all you'll need is an Adafruit account, which is free, and IF Triple T account, which is also free, and a, and a Google account, obviously, for Google Assistant. So let's get on with it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is set up our Adafruit account. So this is you just go and create an account and then you'll end up on the screen. So there's lots of ways you could communicate with your lamp. For example, you could set up a service which connects through your modem and talks directly to it. But that's just a terrible idea. Um, unless you're really experienced with firewalls and those sorts of things, don't do not do that. It's sort of like leaving the window open on your house. It's just not something you'll do. It's not worth the risk. This method is the uh, lamp is sending data out and receiving it but it's not going through a, a hole in your your modem all right so first thing we do is we want to create a new feed and we're going to call this based on the topics available on the wled so we'll just check those first so the available topics are color api and nothing at all so we're just going to choose the eight the color one and create a um, topic based off that. So we'll create a new feed. We'll call it coal. And we've got a new feed called coal available. And if we go in to check the feed and in here, it gives us the details to put into our WLED lamp. All we're interested in is this bit here. We're not interested in the COL. We're just interested in the feed. Copy that and go into your WLED, go into the config and sync interfaces and scroll down to MQTT and enable it and put in the device topic here. Just for now I'll put the same one in the group. We're not covering that feature today. The broker is going to be Adafruit IO. The username and the password we're going to get out of our Adafruit account as well. So shoot back into there. So up on the top right here we've got a key and this is our login and our code. They should be blurred out, really. So just copy those into your WLED. Okay, so once you're all done, you'll have the Adafruit domain. The port number is 1883, which is standard. Your username and your password, which is by the key icon. I don't think the client ID is important, but I just put in lamp. And in here, for the device topics, we'll just put in the username and feeds it's important that the last forward slash is not in there or otherwise it won't work so once you've done all that you save it and it will not work unless the device is rebooted so you just go into info and click on reboot wled and confirm the light will flash you should be good to go so now we just need to test that works and we'll just do that by popping back into the adafruit io to test that feed, if we go back and just check the WLED dot, it says for color, we just send down a RGB value in, in hex. Uh, we'll just send one down just to test that it's working. So we just click on this add data and I'll put in FF0000 and send it down and the lamp goes red. So we know that it's all up and running. Once that's good to go, we will uh, now jump into IFTT to configure the Google Assistant. Okay, so once you've got your IFTTT account set up, click on Create. And for the, if this, we'll go Add and just look for Google. Google Assistant version 2, Activate Scene. For me, I've already gone through the process. You've got to link your accounts. When you do it for the first time, there's a window that pops up that tells you what to do. Just follow your nose on that. It's really simple. We just got to go onto your phone and activate or add IFTT to your list of devices and Google Home. It's not hard at all. So we'll just call this light. And then we go add and Adafruit and send data to Adafruit. 
and it's got my account already in there. It's got my feed name already in there. And data to save, I'm just going to make it white and create action. Continue, finish. It's given us the details here. If you say, OK, Google, activate light, it'll send the data and turn the light on. And before, previously it was cool because you would say something and then it would reply back and say what it's done. Or you could you could tell her what to say. That's all gone because it was too much fun, obviously. We, we can't do it. So we'll give this a go and see if it works. Activate light. And it's gone. It's gone white. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. So we want to be able to turn the light off as well. So we just create another applet. Let's go create. Add. Search for Google again. And I'll just type in light off. Or we will say light off. Add a fruit. Send data to the same channel and we'll just send it at all zeros, which is going to be a light off. Create action, continue, finish. And now, uh, theoretically, if I go light off, it should go off. And off she goes. So that's good. So hopefully that was useful for you. I've Googled everywhere trying to find out how to do this and there's every time I Google I find my old video. So um, hopefully it's got a bit of help for you. Uh, in the next video we'll be doing effects like this when we get something like an, an email or an Instagram like or something along those lines. So if you want to catch that one by all means subscribe. Aside from that, thanks for watching.